guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's day in the life yes today is a day in the life because it is actually Sunday September 17th it is about 10 o'clock right now I just got into our rented office space which looks very different I'm sure um, so I wanted to do a few things at the office and I figured this would be a good chance to film maybe one last time here before we no longer have the rented office space so let me just back up I feel like if you are completely new or if you just like haven't seen some of my videos lately you're probably like what is going on what are you talking about so um I started Sarah Marie stickers in December of 2008 um it was honestly a total like spur of the moment type of thing I was not like really even thinking that it would be what it was I thought at best it would be a like nice little side hustle similar to like my YouTube channel um, I never expected it to be what it ended up being and I feel so extremely grateful that it blew up to where it was and the fact that I was able to not only support my family but also my brother for a extended period of time um, it was honestly truly amazing um, so the business is almost five years old if I'm doing my math correctly and um, for two years out of those five we have rented an office space office space which is where I am we went from having a tiny little bedroom in my old house to moving to Jason's parents house they had like a spare bedroom and it was probably double or three times the size of the bedroom that I was using in my old house and then we moved here because we needed space. We were expanding. We were offering a ton of new products and we simply needed space for equipment and for storage and for inventory. Um, and honestly, this space has been truly amazing. I feel like Sarah Marie Stickers grew up so much here. Um, I have so many amazing memories of me and my brother working together and making our coffees in the morning and working in here together having lunch together um, going on little adventures to like test out printers and just so many amazing memories um but I feel like recently coming here has been just kind of sad like I think about all of the fun memories that I had here and that like I had here with my brother and I feel like I come here and, it, and it's just a sad thing because it's not what it used to be. I'll show you guys a tour after I kind of talk about everything um, but it's just not what it used to be you know right now it's either Jason or myself in this office space the majority of what we use this space for now is for storage because we have a lot of sticker storage we have a lot of like leftover stickers we have a lot of like mailers and boxes and then Jason comes here and cuts stickers whether it be on the silhouettes or the customs graph tech or on the two big graph techs but we're not really utilizing the space how we were in the past so it doesn't make sense to keep it we are spending over a thousand dollars a month just on renting this space for um internet here for electric here for insurance and it honestly just doesn't make sense to spend that much money for just a storage space so um, our lease here ends in october at the end of october and we are going to be moving everything either into my basement or into a like storage unit that we're hoping will be like a hundred dollars a month um so like i said now that we've kind of made the decision to move everything over to one of those places coming here is just sad it feels like i'm losing something um and i'm not like sarah marie stickers is still going it's still very much active i'm still designing and um we're still getting lots of orders and all of that but just saying goodbye to this space is kind of sad and I feel like every time I come here it's just a reminder that like pretty soon this won't be ours um so yeah it's just kind of sad but like I said for financial reasons and just for like logical reasons it doesn't make sense to keep such an expensive space for for like how we're using it um so yeah we're gonna be saying goodbye it's an end of an era for this office space and who knows i don't know what the future holds honestly i like i said i would have never expected the business to grow to where it is where it was where it is um i would have never expected that and i would have never expected when i decided to quit my accounting job that i would have 
ended up like renting an office space that just was never ever in like my idea of like how things were gonna go so who knows what's going to happen in the future I just know for now it doesn't make sense to continue renting the space so um yeah this is probably one of the last times you guys will see this office space so I figured I know it's not like in its glory anymore there's stuff like all over the place it's honestly a mess but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like one last time because this is what it looks like now like I feel like when you guys have seen it in the past it was like this amazing office and it was very fun if I inviting and you know like we had our whole like kitchen set up and all of that and it's just not like that anymore um, and I feel like we found like a good setup at home and all of that which I will definitely share when it's like more set up because right now it's honestly just kind of pieced together um, but yeah, I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm actually in the office today because we have had a really successful launch with the November kits, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for purchasing. A lot of you guys have been using the share, um, that link that I've been sharing that helps us get a, um, a discount from Etsy for some of the fees. So thank you so much if you've done that. Um, Etsy also had a $5 off like $25 this weekend. So I've had lots of orders coming in because I'm assuming because of that deal. And so we have a ton of restocks to do. So I printed them all out yesterday and this morning. And I also needed to change the blades on all of the Gravtex because I've noticed that we've had like some more rough edges and we've had the blades cutting a little bit deeper. So I wanted to come into the office. I wanted to change out the blades, change up the cutting strips. And then I also wanted to pack some more deluxe grab bags. We have been like over the moon excited with how well those have been turning out and we've used a lot of the stock that we've had for like i think it was july and august kits but we have a ton of other stickers here that would be great for that and we have a ton of like washi tape options that we can include in there so um, i'm here because i needed to not only change the blades and the strips for the graph tax but i'm also going to pack a bunch of grab bags to bring home for the old stickers um I'm not sure exactly like what we're going to do long term with all of the extra stickers and washi. We would love to like continue to, you know, add those to grab bags and deluxe grab bags. Um, I don't know where we're going to store them while we are like transitioning from here to like our home and to a storage facility. So we'll kind of have to see because we don't really have a ton of space to store all of this at home. But I feel like we also need to kind of organize it a little bit better so that we could just grab you know what we need if we need to pack more grab bags so we'll have to figure that out but yeah i am here to do those two things i'm going to go ahead and check all the graph text because i've already changed the blades and i've been doing test cuts so i'll bring you guys along show you guys how that's looking um and then i need to start working on the grab bags because i have a feeling that because i plan to pack like 20 of them it's going to take some time um, macy has a play date today so I don't want to take up too much time like here because I know, you know, we're going to have to get the house ready for her friend and I have a feeling her friend will be showing up fairly soon. So yeah, I'm going to get all of that started. I will also, like I said, show you guys the office space, but I, again, just wanted to share one last video here because I feel like it's, it's a sad moment for me. I'm not going to lie, giving up the space because I feel like it has been such a fun journey here but I know that there's a bigger picture and that eventually you know things may change and um I just don't I don't know what the future holds in terms of everything so I'm just rolling with it but I wanted to share this with you guys so let me go make sure everything is cutting correctly and that the blades look good so that when jason comes tomorrow to cut stuff he'll be in good shape and then i'll pop back in and let you guys know what i'm doing okay i'm eating my bagel but i just checked and the customs craft tech is looking good you can see how smoothly that's coming off and then the edges around it are also really clean and honestly like when i cut them it basically just kind of like took the side the sides or outside off by itself so i'm gonna run it one more time just to be safe and i'll show you guys how it comes out but 
with the graph text, I found that not only do you not really need blades, uh, or sorry, you don't need mats with the graph text, but the blades also last really long. So that's kind of something that's really nice about them. I feel like a lot of shops have transitioned over to the graph text. Um, so I know it's not like a huge surprise or anything that there's lots of benefits, but anyway, I'm going to get this started. It's going to take a little bit, but I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's all done cutting. Um, just so you get an idea of like what the outside would look like when it's a fresh blade and when um, it's kind of like configured better. I use the Graph Tech Studio app. I know everybody kind of does it a little different, but I use that app and after a little tweaking, I was able to figure out how to use it in a really good way. But there are different conditions. So condition one for me is cutting the actual, like in this case, meal prep. And then condition two is cutting the outside. So I can adjust the like depth and speed and all of that. So I always have to make sure that not only the scripts are cutting well, but also the outside is cutting well. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. I'm gonna go check the other cutting machines. Okay, so the main graph tech is not cutting that well. The outside's not really cutting. And then I noticed that like the January on this side is cutting really deep, but then over there you really couldn't get it to actually like come off this page so i made an adjustment to the strip because i think the strip just wasn't in the right spot um, and now i'm doing another test cut so we'll see how it comes out and you know if it looks okay but i think the issue in this situation was the strip wasn't in the right spot so we'll see in just a second if it looks Here's the okay. other graph tech um this is the second one that we got and this one looked good to me, but I'm going to just make sure that these all look good as well. So let me just, you can see like the office is honestly kind of a mess. Um, I feel like we're just not here that much. And when we're here, it's just for cutting. So these all should just come off very easily, which they do. You can see how easy that is. I'm not really having to tear much or anything like that. And then in terms of the stickers, we just have to make sure that those are all pulling off really easily. They are. I just want to make sure that they're pulling off easily here too. And you can kind of feel too, like on the backs of them. Um, like honestly, I could probably decrease this a little bit because I can kind of feel a little bit of the cuts on the back. But I'd rather it be a little bit too deep rather than not deep enough. So these are all good to go. Um, so this cutting machine is perfect. So let's go check on the other graph tech. So you can see here what it looks like now on the outside. So see how this is pretty much like off. You would not want this situation to happen on the other graph techs because with the, it like feeding it in and out, it would just be a little bit like too loose. And you can see like it's honestly gonna come off so extremely easy. And just leave it here this is fine for this one because you're doing it one at a time but i would not ever have this situation on the other graph tech but that's kind of how it looks it's very easy to come off um the cuts look good so this one's good to go and when jason comes tomorrow to cut restocks including this meal prep sticker he's good to go we don't have to worry at all about the blades not cutting well enough um i always try and configure it i have a little bit more experience with this type of stuff than he does so i always try to kind of do this type of stuff so he doesn't have to worry about it but this one's all good to go so let's go check on the first graph tech and just make sure that one is also cutting okay, okay. so this one's still having problems i'm not super sure what's going on so i'm testing it again Luckily, I printed extras of this sheet that I, like, was knowing that I was going to test because I feel like I'm running out of them, um, but it's still doing the weird thing where I don't know if it's just because the blade wasn't out enough or what, but I'm testing another sheet, and it sounds like it's cutting well, so we'll check in in just a second, but I'm going to get going with the grab bags just because this is really the last thing that needs to get configured, and then that's the last thing I need to do.
so I got the graph tech going. That's all good. It cut like seven sheets and it was perfect. So we're good there. All the graph techs are all like the blades are changed, cal calibrated everything. And then I just packaged a bunch of deluxe grab bags. So those are all good to go. I can bring those home for the orders that have happened over the weekend. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the office because this is probably, if not the last video, one of the last videos you guys see. I may film like us packing things up, but I'm not super sure because I feel like that will just happen over time when we have time. So let me flip you guys around, show you guys what the office looks like, and then I'm gonna head home um, and I'll get on with the rest of my day. So let me flip you guys around. Okay, so when you walk in, here is the door, of course, and then we have a lot of storage over here. So you can see there's lots of ink and then there's also tons of, tons of sticker storage so we have so much sticker storage i feel like we're going to be um dealing with sticker storage for quite a bit and then we have part of our cafeteria over here so we're no longer using the ice machine i may like try and sell that i may try and sell the fridge and also the microwave i'll probably bring this little storage thing home and just have it as extra storage um but yeah I don't think Jason really even uses the fridge or the microwave, why, blah, 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 microwave anymore. And we are going to have everything that we need upstairs. So there's no point in having it, you know, having two fridges in the same house. Um, the only thing I can think of is like, maybe we'll put that in like the garage or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the table is gone. I think we're currently using that as like a desk. Um, so no table. We're using the chairs as like chairs because... Um, my brother's office chair that we purchased broke and then mine is at home So no setup here anymore for eating lunches And then we just have some like bins and stuff around the office. I still absolutely love the wallpaper and um, The sign actually broke during like one of our moves So I think I'm just gonna take the wallpaper down and throw the sign out just because it's broken and Honestly, I feel like if I was going to have another sign, I'd probably just order another sign. One that's not as flimsy either because I was, you know, it just broke because I was carrying it, which is crazy. Um, and then we have more storage. So this is all mailers and then boxes. And then there's going to be more storage like in there. But we have the two big graph tech machines. My bookcase, which was here, is now at home. So we just have like a little trash thing here. But again, here's the first graph tech. And with each graph tech, you have to have its own computer that's a non-Mac computer. So that's why we have a Dell computer there. And then there's the second graph tech. Again, other computer for it, that. I think here I have business cards. Um, I think like some sticker paper over here. And then we have our graph tech boxes because you have to keep those so that they are still under warranty. A bunch of storage. All of these green bins just have like old planners, things like that. You can see we have lots of ink. Um, I need to just open those boxes up and get the ink out. Lots of these little bins because for a while Jason was filling orders and I was like reviewing them and stuff. But we haven't done that in a while. Now we just kind of use those to like store stickers for either like right after they get printed before they're cut or like if we're bringing stickers back and forth between the off the two offices we have some old silhouettes um these ones don't work as well and again we're kind of getting away from using the silhouettes anyway but i don't know if you guys can tell how yellow those are because those have been in the sun so much so they're not even white anymore they're like yellow more storage stuff back here um you can see we have lots of extra stickers so we'll have to compile compile that and then Jason has some motorcycle stuff here from when we moved so we'll have to also bring that back at some point and then here is the main room so we have some washi tape that I never bought bins for and honestly doesn't make sense at this point because we're not doing washi tape anymore um, we have the silhouettes here that we still currently use for like certain like one-off things the customs graph tech Jason pulled a bunch of our um, mailers in here because he wanted like a place that he could put stuff down, kind of like another little desk. So that's what he's using there. 
Um, you can see there's just, like pens and planners and stuff on the floor because we took this whole like desk setup out that's now at home. Um, I still need to move all my washi over. We have some more big boxes. Here's like my little setup and you can see that's our kitchen table. Um, all of the desks we brought back home. Um, and then, oops, sorry. Here we have a bunch of bins. These are all leftover like old stickers. So again, I'm hoping at some point we can go through them, package them up. Same thing with the washi tape. Um, I'm hoping that like whatever grab bags we make, we can also include um, washi tape with it just because then you can utilize the stickers a little bit more. We have some leftover sticker storage here, so that just needs to be moved. And then we have a ton of printers that no longer work. Um, <laughs> These are all printers that I think for a while we are still trying to print here, but we are having so many issues. And honestly, I think we've worked out the issues now. I think we have a whole routine of like how to get the most out of the printers and stuff, but these are all that just need to be like recycled. And then we have our little whiteboard. Me and my brother used to use that so we could keep track of like our cutting schedule and just make sure that we all knew what was going on and he could request time off there. And then that is just where I have some like divider supplies and then ink. That's where I used to pull ink for the printers. So yeah, it is very different in here. I definitely encourage you to go watch like some of the older um, Day in the Life that may include a office tour because I feel like back in its glory, this was such a fun like clean organized space and now I feel like it's just kind of like there's stuff everywhere we need to throw a lot of stuff out we need to just like you know donate some stuff we need to go through and move stuff over to the other house but yeah it's just it's very different from what it used to be and like I said we we grew Sarah Marie stickers here I feel like this is where a lot of the growth happened and it's super sad to be here because, again, it just kind of reminds me of, like, back when I worked with my brother and how much fun we used to have and how exciting some of the releases were. Um, I announced my budget planner here, and I worked on a lot of new sticker storage solutions here. I think a lot of the washi tape happened when we moved. So there's just a lot that, you know, like, being here brings back. A lot of it is good. A lot of it's like, man, this was such a fun experience getting to do this, getting to, you know, like not many people who launch a business gets to get to the point where like you could afford or even need an office space like this. So it's, it's amazing. I'm super glad that I've been able to experience it. Um, but I think like until we get rid of the space, it's just kind of sad because it's like, we're not going to stay here. Like, you know, when you've realize that you're like moved on from something that's kind of how it feels it's like I have good memories of here but like coming in here just makes me sad that like it's not going to be a thing anymore but anyway um I'm going to head home I feel like I was able to accomplish all that I wanted to accomplish here um I have all my grab bags ready to go so that's going to be good and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it's a little different, but like I said, I have showed you guys so many steps along the way with this business. And I feel like one super exciting thing was when we moved into this office. So I wanted to also just kind of share moving out a little bit and how it's changed because we've already moved the majority of the operations over, even though there's still stuff here. So Anyway, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around.